Hello, friends. Hey, how's it going? Today, we, you know we're talking about second week of the month? The, the numbers. numbers. The numbers are in, so let's talk about it. Right here, we've got them. We've got them. So these are Ventura <laughs> County sales numbers in real estate. From Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. That's us. Uh, so, you know, year to date, new listings are up 20%, 19.59%. So that is, we are feeling that in the inventory. There are more cho choices and more things on the market, which has been a great, great thing for buyers. And it's been a great thing for sellers too. I mean, if there's lack of inventory, then a lot of times when a buyer gets your house into escrow, they just really feel like they sacrifice too much to buy your home and they end up canceling escrow. Yeah, that's one thing that's been up. We've seen um, just in the last year, not just super recently, but um, buyers are being super picky and they are canceling. So um, another reason to have your house in shape before you get it on the market. Yeah, unbelievable. When you think you've got it sold and you're in an escrow, then they cancel basically for no reason at all. And they're well within their rights to do that. Yeah, what we would think is no reason, but right. the buyer thinks so. So Yeah, it's a reason to them. <laughs> Um, sold listings are up two and a half percent. So that is good news too. Things yep. are still selling. Things are still coming off the market. Now, based on what we researched today, there are properties on the market that are still getting multiple offers, but that's a very small segment of the market. Mm -hmm. Most of the properties, marketing time has increased. Everything has increased including more listings on the market. That's right. The um, average sold price is up 9% year to date. So it's up to the average sold price is $1,212,000, um, which, you know, is a big number. Big, big number, especially for a first time home buyer or even somebody that's moving up buying because you've got a lot of things to factor in that. Property taxes, more maintenance, water bills, electric bills, all the bills that come with moving up. The uh, median sold price, which means half the property is sold above it and half the property is sold below it, is nine forty-five. That's up six percent year to date. So prices still continue to climb up. They do, and mm -hmm. as things get pricier, payments go up. People are definitely looking forward to a rate cut. But what we learned today was the rates that we have today are already baked in to the rates that are go we're going to see in September. So even though Fed may cut the Fed funds rate, you're not going to see lower interest rates than what we've got right now. Well, we hope so. Yeah, we hope they come down. But we hope so. But they're saying <laughs> the market, you know, they always pre-bake in the things like the earnings reports. They kind of know what they're going to be and they bake that in. Well, that's kind of how the interest rates um, coming down. But they've come down a point. And so on another fact on that, if you need to refinance or you want to refinance, you know, most lenders will tell you to wait to refinance till you get a full point or more on your interest rate before you refinance. And if you're using Prosperity Mortgage, which is in our in-house lender, Berkshire Hathaway, um, they are offering a program where you purchase with them. They will offer you a rate roll down for three years. You can do um, a free refinance. Um, you have to pay a few fees, but um, it's a great program. So let us know if you're interested in that. Um, we're happy to get you pre-qualified if you're ready to buy something new. Yes, Pro Prosperity Home Mortgage, <laughs> Prosperity Home Mortgage, they will waive all their fees. So yeah. it's free from them, which is absolutely tremendous. Right. Especially if you're buying today or you've bought in the last few months. Yep. Um, the uh, average days on market is... Uh, down from 42 to 35 and you know it feels a, a little strange just because it feels like things are, st are taking a little longer it is not the market of you know 2022 when things were flying off the market with a line around the block it's not that um, but the the numbers say that the days on market are coming down um, but the feeling in the market is things are taking a little longer to sell yeah that's totally what we're seeing definitely is longer, but that's an unusual statistic that the houses are actually less days on market. Right. I don't see it. So I was surprised by that because that's really not how we're feeling the market is right now. Um, and another surprising one is our um, list to sold ratio is still above 100%. So it's at 100.2% year to date. 
which means things are selling at or over their asking price. So again, another key thing is to get your house priced right, right out of the gate, uh, to get it sold more quickly and um, just to get top dollar. Yeah, like I've said before, that one is a little misleading statistic because they go over the list price and what it's sold. So if you started off at a million and then you lowered it to 900,000, 10% decrease, and then it sells at 901,000, then it actually sold over list price, but it didn't sell over the price where it started. The original list price. Speaking of that, we've seen some dramatic price reductions in the market. Um, kind of in, in most of the price ranges, we are seeing more price reductions and bigger price reductions than we have seen in the past. So um, one of the tickets there, if you have seen some properties be on the market for quite a few days, you know, we're happy to write an offer because you never know what the seller will actually take or what their situation is. And we are never afraid to write an offer. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't scare us. So we did see probably one of the most dramatic Closings was it started at four and a half million and it closed for two million six. Mm -hmm. Now there was some price reductions in that chain of events. However, four or five to two six, that is a price reduction. That's probably was mispriced to start with. Yes, it was, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was like, oh my gosh, if all the stars align, could I get this price? And it's like maybe, but it didn't happen. Right, right. So that is the numbers for. T -t Today, you know, we stay on top of all the stats and what's happening. We just got off our company call with our economist, and he is uh, hopeful and expecting that the Fed could drop the rates as much as two or four times between now and the end of the year. So we'll see what happens. You know, the election is coming. One of the Fed meetings is the day after the election, so that should be an interesting one to see what they do. Um, but that we are staying on top of all the information we can gather. You better believe it. Gary and Lisa.com. Your real estate edge.